Hey guys, David Franklin here, uh, sitting with Senator Bruce Thompson. Bruce, you and I are good friends, man. We are so excited to have you alive because uh, you got that corona virus and have survived it. So, guys, what I want to do is just uh, talk to Bruce a little bit just to hear your story. And because, uh, Bruce, that stuff is real, isn't it? It's real, for sure. <laughs> so, listen, man, tell us about when you knew you had it and kind of what happened and because uh, you came close to dying, so talk to us. So the Thursday before I wound up going to the hospital, David, you know, I, I didn't feel great. I'd already been to the doctor, had bronchitis. I have an underlying condition of asthma that um, I try and stay in shape and that controls it. And um, so I came home from the Capitol Thursday, just didn't feel good. Skip Friday, um, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday the 16th, my wife called our primary care doctor. And um, that morning he, uh, told, he wrote, says, you know, you need to get him to ER, like now. So they were going to call an ambulance, and, you know, I'm kind of stubborn. I'm like, an ambulance? An ambulance is for people in car accidents, right? You stubborn, Bruce? Nobody's ever, we've never thought of that. I don't know. Well, I could say that to you because I know what Dana <laughs> says about you. Yeah, that's exactly right. And um, so she took me to Northside Cherokee Hospital, which I cannot say enough for. We got great health care everywhere, but that, I got there at the ER maybe 9, 30, 10 o'clock, and within seven, eight minutes they had me upstairs, and, a team of, I don't know how many people went to work on me. Um, I was diagnosed with acute hypoxemic respiratory failure. If you look that up, it means a lack of oxygen going to your body. And um, it goes on to say you, you can't survive very long that way. I was blacking out. Um, I don't remember a whole lot during that eight hours of being in the ER, um, but they were busy. And um, honestly, you know, if it had Jesus had not grabbed my hand and said, you know, we're not ready for you up here. And I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means they couldn't handle me up there or if there's still work to be done. I want to think there's still work to be done. And um, so I got great care. I moved out of there that night into ICU. And, um, you know, ICU is not the greatest place to be either. Um, they, ICU is full of people that maybe want to take their own lives or own life support. And... Um, by Wednesday, my condition had started improving so much that they called me walkie-talkie. I was the only person in the 22 beds that could get up, and kind of move around, and communicate. And, uh, you know, that, that's not bad for a guy that struggled with oxygen. So let, let me just interrupt right here, guys. I've got some of the funniest text messages from Bruce Thompson. <laughs> We're texting back and forth. He made no sense. And his wife was like, that's not the case, and all that kind of stuff. So it, early on, it was, you, you, were, you were a little loopy during that time. You know, I know a lot about you from the past, so just remember that. Maybe we ought to just put that in a bucket and put it away, right? <laughs> that's right. Nobody's getting those texts, Bruce. Perfect. Nobody. I like it. So Thursday, um, I improved so well. They were very pleased that they came in, and they said, um, we're going to move you to a regular room and move me to an isolated room. And then by Saturday, again, things had improved so dramatically that um, they released me to come home, um, stay isolated, um, try and start building up my lungs and immune system, and um, put me on these monster horse pills of 875 milligrams. I had a follow-up this last week, and uh, my lungs are about 60% back, which they said is really, really good. Um, I, obviously, I'm out of isolation. I'm not in any way contagious. Um, that we know about, right? What we know right, about. Right. Um, the bigger issue for me is I have to be careful not to be around people that maybe have some kind of illness because my immune system is building back. But, David, I, I cannot thank everybody. The, I think we're at 4,500 people reached out. It was crazy. I didn't even know that many people knew me. Their encouragement and their prayers. And so it meant a lot. And um, I am thrilled. I feel so good. <laughs> Bruce, one of the things that I want to make sure everybody understands, <clears throat> you were exposed on a Sunday and then felt sick on Thursday and may have been exposed before that, but for sure you got sick on a Thursday. And uh, I got word like everybody else did that you'd been taken to the hospital. And so put the prayer calls out, all that kind of stuff. And at that point, a bunch of people in this community started praying for you and your recovery has been dramatically quicker than anybody I've seen. It has. Um... Part of that is um, I stay in shape. Part of that is just my faith. Um, uh, David, we can't underestimate the power of prayer. 
Yeah, that's right. So um, I'm, you know, it was someone asked me. They said um, it's pretty tough that what you went through, and um, I said I wouldn't sign up for it again. But the opportunity I had uh, in the hospital, as you're confined and you got all kinds of tubes and so on, or IVs, you start noticing people. And I noticed the healthcare workers that, the doctors, the PAs, the techs, and you know, this is a new world for them. You know, they've been trained all their life to take care of people and emergencies and so on, and not that they're insensitive by any means, but they, they know what to do. There are so many data points coming in right now, some conflict, they don't really know what to do. And Northside, they were double masked, and now hospitals aren't masked at all. And uh, I had the opportunity just to talk to people real. And they've got normal lives outside of this hospital, right? Same kind of challenges that you and I and many other people are dealing with. And people are hungry to know somebody cares. You know, Bruce, it's real easy to get on a road and you're working as fast as you can, as hard as you can. And we lose perspective and awareness around the people that are around us. And there's not a single person that I've ever met that's not going through something. They're either going through it or they just got out of it or they're about to go into it. And uh, paying attention to people matters, doesn't it? It does. You know, um, in Matthew, I was watching online uh, one of the sermons this weekend, and it reminded me that we're not supposed to worry. We can worry, but it's not going to add one hour to our life, right? And if, uh, if the Lord cares about the birds, how much more does He care about us, right? And um, I think that's difficult for people right now because they're fearful for their jobs. They're fearful not knowing who they might catch it from. Don't really know if, at the end of the day, whether the death rate's going to be higher than influenza. There's just a lot of unknowns. And we as Americans and I think the humanity, we don't, we don't like to know the unknown, right? That's right. We like to be in control. That's right. Hey, Cartersville Uncut. Hey, it's Tim here at Treasure Chest Island. Hey, it's a new year, new things, new excitement here at Treasure Chest Island. Come on by and take a look around. You just got things that you just never know what you're going to find here at Treasure Chest Outlet. We're located at 927 North Tennessee Street. If you need a sofa set, if you need mattresses, if you need dining, if you need home decor, we've got it. Come on by and see us. Check us out. Treasure Chest Outlet. You just never know what you're going to find. SOS Mattress. Best quality, best price, guaranteed. Where can you find a huge selection of high-end mattresses without paying high-end prices? SOS Mattress. Best quality, best price, guaranteed. Where can you save 50 to 80 percent off retail every day? SOS Mattress. Best quality, best price, guaranteed. We offer the lowest prices on the best name brand mattresses. SOS Mattress and Clearance Center on Highway 41 in Cartersville, one block south of Home Depot. Hello Cartersville, this is Kelly Jones and I'm here at Kennesaw Transportation. I just want to say that if you are looking to make a job change, we are here for you. We'd love to have you. Uh, we keep nice late model equipment as you can see behind me. Uh, we are a family owned company about to celebrate our 40th year anniversary. We have a sign on bonus, benefits, 401k, I could just go on and on. So call me. The number is below, 1-888-BLUE-TRUCK. I would love to have you join our family. I hope you have a great, great year. If you've been injured in an accident, call the Glenda Mitchell Law Firm. Give us a call anytime. You'll talk directly to me. Let this specialist in auto accidents fight for you. Call 770-694-1883 today. You know, Bruce, one of the things that I'm watching, uh, one is I'm watching our community. You know, we've got a great community in so many different ways. The pulling together, uh, I think, to continue, especially to pray for protection for people. We still have some friends that are in hospitals right now. That's right. We we got to continue to pray for those people and love on those folks. Uh, we got to pray for our healthcare workers because I'm telling you, they're under the gun. They, they are. really are under the gun. You know, it's it's interesting and. Um, you know, the Bible inside and out, but I don't. But I was reading, and I was reading about Luke, right? And the parable of the Good Samaritan. And I think we get so busy, we came out of an economy that was roaring. 
and everybody gets busy and I think if we went back and looked at it, how many times did we go to the other side of the road because we couldn't be bothered, right? We, we could talk about the priest or we can talk about the, the, the Levite or we talk about it, but were we this good Samaritan that took the time to really come over and see the needs? Right now, it's waking some of us up, right? And I, I pray that that doesn't ever go away when this economy recovers and we get past this, that again, people are hungry all walks of life. Doesn't mean their income, their race, their denomination, their political affiliation. Doesn't matter. People are hungry to know somebody cares, David. They, are, they do. They just want to know somebody cares. You know, Bruce, one of the great lessons I think right now, and this is kind of an old thing, just just text somebody, just pick the phone up and call somebody. I'm still one of those guys that thinks a call matters. And uh, I'm curious, you know, do you know how to use a smartphone or do you still have that rotary on your wall? No, uh, you know, I had kids. And I got okay. five kids, and so they've trained me on okay. a few things. Okay, okay. but uh, I, I think if everybody would just reach out and just touch somebody and say, "Listen, I'm just thinking about you today, and what you know, I appreciate you." I think that does make a difference. I do too. And especially our healthcare workers right now, but it's not just them. You know, I, I'm looking working with some of our emergency management people. And all those guys are working extra hours. You've got all kinds of people. Our grocery store workers. God bless these people. They I are mean, truckers. Oh, truckers are. Uh, there's a lot of people doing a lot of things so that we can get through this and uh, and you know just encouraging people giving them a pat on the back makes a difference yeah, at the end of the day and I know I don't want to diminish the severity what this is there as you said there are people in the hospital right now there some people have lost loved ones they can't even have a funeral right there's all that but down the road this may make us a better community not only just here which we have a great community but in our state and even our nation realizing how fragile life really is. It woke me up, I can tell you. It's a guy that, you know, we're standing at Liberty Square on stage celebrating uh, Looney's life, right? And then I'm back at the Capitol doing what we do, and next thing I know, I'm in a hospital not knowing what's going on. And I hadn't been in the hospital since 1984. Wow. So, you know, pretty healthy guy. Mentally disturbed, probably, but, you know, that's a different story. Only according to both our that's, wives. That's right, that's right. She stayed with me, <laughs> You know, Bruce, one of the things that I've been telling our pastors, guys, let's let's go to a new normal. Let's don't go back to where we were. Let's create something better. And I think that's one of the great challenges and encouragement to all of us is every time you go through something difficult, and, you know, I've been through open-heart surgery with a three-month-old son. He either lived or died on the table. To make sure that no matter what the circumstances are, you learn from it, and you appreciate something from it, and don't go back to the way it was. Let's let's be better. That's right. You know, the one thing that you've said, and it's resonated with me, number one is it, it's changed my perspective on a lot of mm -hmm. things. Um, it just does, right? Yep. But the bigger thing is, is your neighbors. You get into a neighborhood, you get busy, new people move in, you don't necessarily take the time. Now that we are all forced to be in our homes, men and women are forced to sit and talk to their millennials kids right <laughs> but we're also forced to talk to our neighbors and um, it's interesting I, you know I went to the store to get my, my meds after my follow-up and people were scared you could just see it on their face they didn't want to talk and you know I know this is a surprise to you but I like to talk so I just start saying hey good morning right it was amazing how people responded as if they just had permission to all of a sudden talk uh, we got to get back to that we're, we're relational beings, right? Yep. And I think uh, as believers, this is an opportunity to really take that step to go, hey, we care. It's I, We don't know how it ends. We know how it ends ultimately. We don't know how it ends if there's going to be 20,000 people pass or 4,000. We don't know if this is going to... But what we do know is while we're here, encourage one another, right? There's, when you're positive, it makes things a lot better. It even helps in the hospital. I'm telling you, praying for another one, one another, encouraging one another. You know, there's a verse, weep with those that weep and rejoice with those that rejoice. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, celebrate, celebrate when, uh, you know, like we, we celebrate the fact that, that you're better. Now, we know some people that uh, have passed away and That's we right. weep with those, right. but we celebrate, Bruce, with you, with your family. And uh, community, thanks for all those people that reached out, prayed for Bruce, reached out to him. You know, God bless you. Bruce, any, any last thing you want to say to the folks? Yeah, I would just say that what we do know um, about this virus, right, is if you've got an underlying issue, you've got emphysema or maybe you've smoked or you have asthma, 
Um, you know, you're hearing about don't take ibuprofen, right? You're hearing more and more of that. They even said that to me, and I had taken it a couple weeks leading up. Um, make sure you're checking in on the seniors, right? Those 16-year-old, that, that age group is very susceptible to this. And so um, love on everybody. But this is an opportunity for you, maybe if there's a strained relationship or maybe you just don't know how to communicate, take the step and go communicate. Yeah. Listen, guys, thank you, Cartersville, Bartow County, for thank caring you. and uh, for praying for Bruce and celebrating with him. And remember, there's others in our community that I'm telling you, there's still people that are dealing with this. There's uh, health care workers that are working, but it's not just them, it's truckers. So. Go find somebody to encourage, slap them on the back, say thank you, and uh, or call somebody. And guys, this is a good time to make a difference in somebody's life. They may have to slap them on the back at six feet, just saying. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> so, you and I, because of what we've been through. Yeah, I don't care, man. Good, man. <laughs> so, listen, thank y'all. located on Henderson Drive in Westing Common Shopping Center. Unlike most medical clinics, we do labs right here in the office, including x-rays, saving you the hassle of scheduling yet another appointment across town. Here at Spencer Family Medicine, we accept almost our insurance plan. And we can almost always fit you in for same-day appointments. We serve patients young to old. From urgent care issues like broken bones to long-term issues like weight management and hormone therapy. Not only that, but Dr. Spencer and staff are trained in aesthetic work. So come to see us at Spencer Family Medicine. We would love for you to be a part of our family. I'm Dr. Spencer, and I approve this message. <laughs> <laughs> okay, girls. Ready? Ready? Go. Hi, I'm Joshua Goodman with Elite Stone Supply. We sell everything from hardscaping, landscaping, stone, Husqvarna equipment, and Premier Portable buildings. We can make them from 6x10 all the way up to 16x40. We make garden sheds, garages, cabins, barns, anything you can think of, we can make it happen. Do you need to store Christmas stuff? Do you need to store a lawnmower? We can take care of that. Do you need to get away? Do you need a, uh, a pool house by your pool? We can make it happen. Come check us out at Elite Stone Supply. Hello, Cartersville. If you haven't been by lately, come on by and check us out. We've totally revamped the store. We've added a lot more large capacity washers for your big loads. We have 40 pounders, 60 pounders, and 80 pounders for those huge loads. If you've got large bedding, come on by and see us. We've got the machine you need from a single person all the way up to a multi-family. If you're tired of doing laundry yourself, we offer a wash, dry, and fold service where you can drop it off few hours later come back it's ready to wear. We're located at 406 North Tennessee Street. It's All American Coin Laundry. Come by and see us for all your laundry needs. During this pandemic I wanted to bring a word of encouragement unto the body of Christ and to all those that are in the earth that uh, we understand that we are fearful and fear is a common thing but there is a fear that God does not love and he says he has not given man uh, the fear uh, the spirit of fear and what happens is God don't doesn't like fear because fear says God you are a liar that if I say I'm with you I'm with you that I say it that if I say I'm for you, I'm for you. And when we become fearful and panic, as we have seen uh, on the uh, media, throughout media, TV, where people are going into stores and fighting over toilet tissue and items, people are beginning to hard things. And God has promised us that he would supply all of our needs. And I think, I think uh, when we begin to fear, we, we panic six sets in and panic has set in on our country uh, when God has declared that, that, that he is for us and he is with us. And, and I think we have to lean on the promises of God. I remember when Jesus, uh, God told uh, Israel to go into uh, the land, the promised land and possess the land. And they went and looked at the land and uh, came back 10 with a good report and two without a good report. And here's what happened. Uh, fear spreads. 
the 10 gave the bad report and Israel got, got uh, upset and panicked and wouldn't go in. And God got mad at them because they would not believe the two report, Jacob and Caleb, that the land was plentiful, that it was everything that God had said. And yet and still, uh, they took the bad report of what everybody else was saying, the majority was saying. And God got mad and made them wander in the wilderness for 40 years, all because of fear. And I say to you, my brothers and sisters out there, that uh, we must hang on to the promises of God during this pandemic and not on what the media say, what, uh, uh, what is driven by the media. But we, we stand on one promise, and that is the word of God. You hold fast to what God has promised and what God said he would do, and he'll give you peace. The promise is if you'll keep your mind stayed on him, he'll keep both your mind and your heart in perfect peace. God bless you. We love you. Hey, this is Joe Wilson, co-owner of Parnick Jennings Funeral Home, Cartersville's locally owned funeral home, serving all of Bartow County since 1977. The biggest difference uh, of, of our funeral home here in Bartow County, Cartersville, is that we are a locally owned funeral home. Uh, we make all our decisions right here in the funeral home. When people walk in the door, they're going to meet the owner and know that we're making decisions on what's best for the families that have placed their trust and confidence in us and the needs of our community. One thing we always say to families that place their trust in us is ask a family we have served. We want people to know that when they come here for probably one of the most difficult experiences in their life, that, that they can feel comfortable with us. On behalf of myself and all the staff here at Parnick Jennings Funeral Home, we want you to know it would be our honor to serve your family during your time of need. Please call us at 770-382-0034. This is Cartersville Cell Phone Repair. We appreciate the community and enjoy serving you. Stop in for great deals for cases for all model phones. We have gently used tablets, phones, computers, car mounts, pop sockets, and Bluetooth. Not only are we the most committed phone shop in Cartersville, but we pride ourselves on quality repairs and sales. Stop in today to meet our team. Thanks, Cartersville. Glenda Mitchell with Glenda Mitchell Law Firm. If you've been involved in an accident, give me a call. Let me help you. I give every client my personal cell phone number so you can call or text me anytime. Glenda Mitchell Law Firm. We come to you. I'm Susan Williams and this is Bob Williams and we're standing in front of Impact Food Pantry which is a ministry of North Point Church in Adairsville. We are located at 4645 Joe Frank Harris Parkway. We are open six days a month. Our schedule is available on the church website www.northpointchurch.com and we're here today serving on a Friday, the Friday of Coronavirus Week. We um, distribute food to needy people in the local community that includes Gordon, Bartow, Floyd counties and even a few more outlying counties. Uh, generally speaking we'll handle about a thousand families a month uh, during those six days that we're open. Uh, those families get usually somewhere between 60 and 80 pounds of food includes canned goods, meats, breads, desserts, produce. produce. Where does our food come from? Our, most of our food comes to Atlanta Community Food Bank. We order food from them. We get two 52-foot trucks a month with about a total of around 60,000 pounds of food. We also get through the Feeding America program. We get food from the food line in Adairsville from Walmart in Cartersville and Kroger in Cartersville. Anybody can come and pick up food. We have people from all over Northwest Georgia that come. You do, we fill out paperwork when you come and we can be, it is income based, but if you, if you we don't check the income part of that. You fill out forms every time you come. 
So there's several reasons for doing this. One is to give information about our ministry. We want the people who need to have food to have food and know that you can get it without a whole lot of strings attached. But at the same time, we also we have a, a significant need from an equipment standpoint right now is that we have a lift that when those two trucks come with 30,000 pounds on each truck, we, 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 use a, we use a hydraulic lift to get the things off the truck and into the building. And right now that lift is not working. So we're trying to raise, so we're looking to raise money to replace the lift. And that, that way we don't have to use all of our budget for that. We can use our budget for food. We'd like to keep our budget for food. Thank y'all so much for your time. Hey, Cartersville Uncut. Hey, it's Tim here at Treasure Chest Island. Hey, it's a new year, new things, new excitement here at Treasure Chest Island. Come on by and take a look around. You just got things that you just never know what you're going to find here at Treasure Chest Outlet. We're located at 927 North Tennessee Street. If you need a sofa set, if you need mattresses, if you need dining, if you need home decor, we've got it. Come on by and see us. Check us out. Treasure Chest Outlet. You just never know what you're going to find. Hi, I'm Joshua Goodman with Elite Stone Supply. We sell everything from hardscaping, landscaping, stone, Husqvarna equipment, and Premier Portable Buildings. We can make them from 6x10 all the way up to 16x40. We make garden sheds, garages, cabins, barns, anything you can think of, we can make it happen. Do you need to store Christmas stuff? Do you need to store a lawnmower? We can take care of that. Do you need to get away? Do you need a, uh, a pool house by your pool? We can make it happen. Come check us out at Elite Stone Supply. SOS Mattress, best quality, best price, guaranteed. Where can you find a huge selection of high-end mattresses without paying high-end prices? SOS Mattress, best quality, best price, guaranteed. Where can you save 50 to 80% off retail every day? SOS Mattress, best quality, best price, guaranteed. We offer the lowest prices on the best name brand mattresses. SOS Mattress and Clearance Center on Highway 41 in Cartersville, one block south of Home Depot. My name is Mary Erickson. I'm the priest, the pastor here at Church of the Ascension in Cartersville, the church with the red doors right next to the courthouse. It is good to be with you. I'm here to say a little bit about caring at this time of coronavirus. We are all called to care. Jesus said to love your neighbor as yourself, and so that is what we are currently doing under the present conditions of coronavirus. Since last Tuesday, when we pulled together with our initial partners of First Presbyterian, the Blessed Coalition, and Will to Way, the Red Door Food Pantry, and uh, all of the volunteers with those organizations have served 3,534 meals at Dinner to Go. If you want more information about receiving meals, registering for the meals, for volunteering or for donating to this cause, please go to the Facebook page. In the call to care at this time, we're called to be separate, so it seems kind of weird to be called to care for one another, but we are caring for one another in our separation. We are also able to do that through various ministries where we continue to keep our distance and serve food in ways that are sanitary and safe for all. Jesus called us to care, to reach out. Mr. Rogers said at a time of crisis and people were wondering if God was really present, Mr. Rogers said, indeed they are. Just look to where people are caring and giving care. There you will see God. Again, if you need more information about the Red Door Food Pantry and our ongoing distribution of food here at Church of the Ascension or this particular ministry at time of coronavirus, please go to the Facebook page, the Red Door Food Pantry Facebook page. Thank you.